Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So recently we did a reading in which we asked, will there be love coming to our lives? And we stipulated the time frame. And so this is kind of follow on to that reading. And today I'm using Lenormand cards. And the question we're asking is, what can I do to attract this person into my life? So it's not like, where shall I go to? Or what shall I wear? <laughs> it's not an external uh, factor here. We're asking, what is it that we can do in ourselves that can actually enable us to bring this love into our lives? And yes, there may be a, a comment made about where to go, where to hang out, etc., to meet um, a special person, but uh, that is not actually the focus of this reading. So I just wanted to make that clear uh, in case you're expecting something like that. And so you know that this is more in terms of one's development, uh, one's self-development. All right, so we have five Lenormand decks here. We're working with deck one, two, three, four, and five. And you may go ahead, uh, you can pause the video if you need to, go ahead, make your selection, go directly to your reading, you'll find the timestamp. With the deck number one, we begin. What is it that I can do to attract love into my life? So for those of you who've chosen this deck, what is it that they could do to attract love into their lives? Okay, so we have the moon here. The card that... The, the way in which I'd like to read this card is I'd like to say that you working with your intuition is going to help you to do this, strengthening your intuition. I would also say that working with your femininity will also enable you to draw the love that you need into your life. So working, so even if you are a man who's who's coming, who's uh, listening to this right now, uh, the femininity that I'm talking about is actually you working with that aspect of yourself which is your feminine aspect so we all have in us a masculine aspect and a feminine aspect and this card here is asking you to go inward and work with that part which is the feminine aspect of oneself the question here is how do you do that so one of the things I, I would suggest that one could do, it depends on how witchy you are or how into esoteric practices you are. But basically, you could draw energy from the moon, literally. The moon has quite a, um, a feminine energy, even though in some cultures it's seen to be male uh, or have a male energy. But the moon has a, a fairly feminine energy and you could sit there and, and ask, you know, you could look at the moon or sit under the moonlight and ask for uh, guidance, or ask for, uh, for yeah, for guidance on how to get in touch with your feminine as the feminine aspect of yourself, or you could ask for guidance on, in terms of refining your intuition, as well. The other thing I would suggest that you could do is you could do rituals during this time. A really nice ritual to do uh, uh, with the full moon is to put out some water, uh, cleaned water in a vessel, and basically charge it with. A moon energy and then to use it as the month goes by now you can't keep this water for very long and use it it will collect bacteria it won't necessarily be good although um you could use it externally you could you could drink it for a while yeah you could use it externally so when you're feeling down or you're feeling that a bit un insecure or you're not really sure about what it is that you need to trust then uh, you could use this water and just kind of dab it on your forehead or something and um use it in this way but the, the, those are just examples in terms of this card what is this card is talking about your intuition and it's talking about your femininity it's talking about getting in touch with that part of you which is softer which is receiving which is able to take in goodness so aside from being able to get in touch with that aspect of yourself through the moon energy one could also just practice receiving so if somebody is giving you a compliment just to say thank you not to contest that compliment if if somebody is giving you a gift or wants to do something for you would you know that you can do yourself or you could buy for yourself you could also just accept that and say thank you practicing receiving is an important part of this feminine energy and uh i apologize for the sound of the the ambulance that's uh, outside my house right now the other thing i want to say is that 
you could practice lightness here. So the moon energy comes with a fairly um, kind of ephemeral type of energy. It comes with uh, a distant energy. But I want to suggest to you that you practice the opposite of that. Um, because the way in which I read this card is suggesting to me that, okay, so practice lightness uh, and ease. Um, so the moon energy is quite mysterious. and But I want to say practice this kind of, lightness that brings you out into the open and brings you into being not just being mysterious and and unknown but rather bringing yourself to the forefront the moon energy here is something that can support you in this process and it's it's you know work with the rhythms of the moon and do things in accordance with the, the rhythms of the moon and that is probably one of the ways in which you can draw more love into your life sometimes what this means is actually being able to be alone for a while and to understand yourself and and be uh, and go away for a while go away meaning go away from your unusual routines go away from um, doing things that you would do normally that please people and go into yourself and ask yourself what is it that you would really do in a relationship what is it that would make you happy in a relationship and almost understanding what it is that you would do and and doing that it feels to me here that there is a part of you that there's a part of there's this you and then there's this other part of you that you are in in relationships and and this card is almost telling me to look for you to look at this this dual aspect of yourself and look at how it is that you can work with both aspects of yourself and honor both aspects of yourself one is not right one is not wrong one is not true and one is not false this is who you are and this card here is telling me that being going away for a while getting in touch with that aspect of yourself is also part of the process that will draw you to the one that you love or draw love into your life Let, let's say it's drawing love into your life because that's the question that we asked so this part of you understanding that shadow aspect of yourself understanding that aspect of yourself which you're not willing to necessarily share with another understanding where is it that you hold back yourself and you're not able to give of yourself the this is all parts of this card here and uh, which i i didn't mention earlier but um yeah, the, understanding the, the various facets of yourself and with the better understanding of yourself and with the, with the energy that is this other kind of moon energy that you can tap into, you'll be able to, to draw this love into your life, okay? So I hope that was helpful for you and I hope that completes the reading for you, for those of you who have chosen this option number one here. Let me know if it works for you. Okay, so I'm going to just put that back here and we're going to move on to the next deck here. So the question we're asking for those of you who've chosen the number two deck is what is it that I could do to draw love into my life? Okay, so this is the heart card. Um, so here what I would like to suggest is that you actually work with your heart. So how would you work with your heart? You would work with your heart by healing past wounds. You would go through relationships that you've had already and you will work with those relationships to ease the hurt, to practice forgiveness, to practice giving again. Um, you will heal that parts of you that have been hurt and locked away, parts of you which you vowed never to bring out again in case that you would be hurt again. You would make yourself really ready for love in this process. And so the other way in which you could work with this is to heal um, relationships with your family, with your mother and father, whatever those relationships are with your siblings as well, this will also impact your heart and impact the way in which you relate to loved ones or the way in which you draw love into your life. Um, practicing heartfulness, practicing love, practicing being in love. And this is separate from a sexual energy. This is real heart energy. Uh, heart energy is loving energy. It's loving. It's an energy that is 
full of compassion and love and um, well, what else <laughs> aside from love? It's giving. It's open to receiving. It is um, able to look beyond the faults of another. It's non-judgmental. It's non-critical. So this, it's the energy here. Well, the card here is asking you to embark upon a journey in which you kind of take a hold of that energy, this heart energy, and you make it yourself. You become more heartful, so more mindful in terms of your thoughts as far as heart is concerned. Um, practice being more generous in the way in which you speak to people and how you interact with people in terms, in terms of being more generous in, in, with your time, for instance, and, and just being loving, just being more open towards uh, others and being more open to seeing others in your life or welcoming others in your life. The other thing that I'm hearing here with this card is that this heart doesn't only need to be healed, but it needs to be prepared for that love that comes along. So practice understanding what it means to have love in your life and how will you love another in, in your life. Pra fantasize about it wonder about it and and see what it is that that comes to you you know when we find ourselves in relationships sometimes we act in a manner that is not really who we are like who we are and some of that heart energy can get lost along that way and so try to prepare yourself for love as it will come into your life in a way that you know that you are going to be full of that heart energy when this person comes into your life and you're ready to share that and that you're not going to use the, the relationship as a practice ground to basically work through a lot of your past difficulties and, and issues. So try to identify what some of those issues are, what some of the difficulties that you have with being completely loved and for, giving, for, for being, being able to give of yourself completely in love. And then um, see what happens because it feels here like that that is what is being spoken about. In fact, so yeah, so that that's the three aspects of it, of this card. I would say work with past relationships and heal yourself. Work with family relationships and then be embody this heart energy as you go along in your daily practice, as well as prepare yourself for the love that will come by understanding how it is that you behave in relationships and what it is that you bring to the relationship and where is it that you can perhaps refine that um, what you bring into the relationship or or understand yourself better um, by it, observing yourself or evaluating yourself even if you're just doing this in terms of fantasy but you could also um, do this uh, by referring to past relationships and how you might have interacted with your previous partner or boyfriend or girlfriend or whatever that is so i hope that message has been of use to you um yes thank you for coming by i'm going to move on to the next one here so the question we're asking here is what do i need to do in order to bring love into my life. What is it that I need to do to attract love into my life? Okay, so with this card here, it's talking about endings and new beginnings. It's talking about largely about endings and understanding and honoring in endings. So there may be relationships that you still need to end in order to bring in a new one. Um, it might also be that you need to end being a certain way with yourself, having a certain type of relationship with yourself. You need to end certain things. It might also mean here that you might need to move. You might need to move to another country or you might need to move to another state or another neighborhood or another town. Whatever it is, there's something here that needs to be changed it something needs to die for something else to be born again now others who look at this card may say oh well there's nothing here about travel why are you talking about moving it's not about that well i'm referring to this because uh well firstly clairvoyantly i've been shown that 
some of you need to move from the home that you are staying in order to be able to find new love or to bring new love into your life. So perhaps your home is some kind of blockage towards you uh, or it presents some kind of blockage or it makes it a little bit more difficult for you to be that person that you need to be in order for you to bring love into your life. So that's the first thing. The second thing is largely because this refers to all endings. So what it, what is it that you need to end in your life is the question that you need to ask yourself in order to be able to bring love into your life. And so you can, yeah, you can apply this to many aspects of your life. You can apply it to your work. You can apply it to your home. You can apply it to your relationships with friends or family or with the current partner that you have um, or with the relationship that you have to yourself. So think about where is it that you sit uh, a bit uncomfortably with yourself or with whether it is with regard to any of the things I've already mentioned, your home, your work, your your other relationships. What is it that you need to end? Maybe it's a hobby that you need to end. Maybe it's a life of being a hermit that you need to end. Maybe it is um, something, a practice that you have with yourself, which is not serving you. And this is what it is that you need to, to end. So I think I'm going to go ahead and ask for another card here. Uh, because for some of you, this might be quite clear, but for those of you who are not clear on this, it might prove to be a bit difficult for you to find that answer. You might not know where to start. So I'm asking the question here, what else does this person need to know about this ending? Can you give us some clues, please? Okay. So this is part of being being anchored. So in this situation, I would definitely say it has to do uh, with regard to moving or being... Um, or being in a certain place, yeah. It's about being anchored somewhere. It's about settling down somewhere. It's about actually choosing your home and where will that be, and and then you will find this love in your life. So, for some of you who are uh, who've come to this deck of cards, you might be in a state of transition, or you might be in a state of moving um, in some way in your life. And if you aren't uh, thinking of moving and you're wondering, what is this about? This is, doesn't resonate with me at all. I would like you to just ask yourself if there is a reason that you need to move or that you need to settle down somewhere else. Because this is talking here about ending a transition that you are in right now and settling within yourself thereafter. So this might refer to an actual physical move or it could refer to a uh, a move within yourself, you know, ending a certain phase in your life to be settled within the next phase. And that's going to bring you this person. It's just a passage of time that's required. Um, the other thing I'd like to say here is that there's part of you here that's feeling very restless in your life and quite un, um, not, not grounded, not untied to the earth. Uh, it's almost like you're hovering above the earth. It's almost like you don't belong or you feel like you you don't belong to a certain place or you don't really fit in or you don't actually need to be there. Uh, and you but you 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 are there because you have to be there. And th this space that I'm talking about, whether it's a physical space or whether it's just a space within yourself, this is what needs to be resolved. And so I would like to suggest that you go inward and you meditate and you actually work within that part of you which is needing to to ground yourself and to anchor yourself and to feel better within yourself. It's almost as if you need to anchor yourself within you. So it's like your armor, which is a part of you, is floating above you and you need to like have it come together with your body and press against it and become one with your body. And then you are strong enough to go out into the world and to be able to attract this love um, so I, yeah, there's so many different feelings here and there's so many different things. This could apply to you in so many different ways. I do hope that it does help you though, and that you are able to uh, make some use of this. So I would say just as a summary, work through this transition that you have, identify where it is that things need to end and what needs to begin and what needs to be anchored and how it, how it is that you can ground yourself further. What is it that you can stop doing? so that you can do something else that's going to help you feel more grounded and better within your skin and more like you belong in a certain place, okay, within yourself or in a physical place once again. Okay, so I hope that's been of use to you. I'm going to go ahead and start with the fourth option here. So for those of you who've chosen this deck of cards, the question we're asking is, 
What is it that I need to do to attract love into my life? Okay, I feel like I need to pull another card here, so I'm going to go ahead and write it now and do that. Okay. So these cards here talk about love, about how you can bring love into your life in two different ways. The feeling that I'm getting here is that You've been too strong in a way. And in this this aspect of you pushes people away. And that your strength is perhaps a deterrent to people around you. Perhaps you're quite independent. Perhaps you push people away without actually realizing it. And perhaps it's, uh, it has to do with your demeanor or just your, your, your poise, the way in which you carry yourself. That actually serves to push people away from you. And I feel that there's a strength that's required here, but it's a strength within you. It's a deep strength. It's a quiet strength. It's not a strength that you wear on your shoulder or a strength that you wear on your cuff and that people see in you, but a strength that's within. And I'm not asking you to change yourself or to change your personality. Of course, you can't do that. And uh, I'm not suggesting that there's anything wrong with you here. So please don't see it in that way. Um... What I wanted to say, though, is that this this person here has a reason to be uh, defensive or to be protective. And I would suggest that you go about asking why it is that you need to be protective or what is it that you're protecting yourself from and how is that impacting the way in which you view love and the way in which you view potential partners uh, or relationships in general. The other thing I'm seeing here is that you are required to be more clever in the way in which you go about um, finding love. So it's almost like you need to have some kind of strategy. Um, it's not telling you to be sneaky. It's not telling you to be um, underhanded in any way, even though some may read that card in this way. It's asking you to be wise. It's asking you to change your demeanor and be wise about it. If you're looking for love, then go out with that intention and actually be open to that and give the persona that you have, give the, the, the aspect of yourself that you project outward uh, a break. You know, you can put it on pause for a little while so that you can really just bring some other aspect of you out of yourself. So these cards together talk about the bear being less overt and the fox being more of the covert. And how can you balance the two? How can you bring yourself into the spotlight without actually shining the spotlight into you? How can you draw that attention or in this case the love that you desire and bring that to you in a manner that is, it's almost magical. It's allowing you to use your power to draw this love to you. And to use to draw this power, it does not require you to be aggressive or to be outwardly strong or to force it your way. It needs to come your way in a way that is that is more subtle, that is more considered, and that is more uh, in tune with the the inner kind of um, intelligence that you have. So I know that sounds strange the way I've said it now, but it needs to come in, uh, in contact with the inner wisdom that you have, an instinct that you have. And sometimes this instinct is a raw instinct which asks you to behave in a certain way, to handle yourself, to carry yourself in a certain manner. But it's not actually asking you to to do that. And the, here this energy is talking about retreating retreating so that you can actually find yourself and be be motivated by that inner wisdom that you have as opposed to standing your ground and stating well no this is the way I am this is who I'm going to be and this is what I'm going to do in this situation 
It's saying, take a step back and just get on with your own life and do what you need to do for you. And don't don't make a big thing out of this person coming to you or whether they come to you or whether they actually, whether, when you meet somebody, don't be so um, quick to assert yourself and who you are and make it so clear to them that you you are this person. Rather let it flow and let it um give give it a chance to blossom and give it a chance to get to know each other you know do this dance um with each other not in terms of playing a game but in terms of just getting to know each other in a way that's not so on your in the face and i'm not suggesting that you do any of these things okay i uh, i'm just reading the cards and 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 telling and telling you what they are saying basically and so it's not necessarily so that you do behave in this way, but this is what they are saying uh, is going to help you to attract this love into your life. So to retreat a bit, to step down, um, not to stand your ground, but to you are still being firm, you're still being assertive, but uh, to be perhaps less aggressive about it. So maybe in this case, you are somebody who actively goes out looking for a partner and they are saying here that you don't need to do that. You need to kind of get on with your own life and remain a bit covert or remain behind the scenes. And this love will meet you there. OK, so, yeah, I hope this message has been helpful for you. And I hope that I, that you do find this love as soon as you can. <laughs> I feel that um, th there isn't much here that you need to change. You know, there's just a different stance that you can take in terms of your approach. All right. So, yes, once again, hopefully that's been helpful to you. And now on to the last deck of cards. So the question we ask you once again is, how can I attract love into my life? So in this deck, the way in which I'd like to read this card is by talking about what is it that you need to do within yourself. So here, this message for me is one, um, this card here talks about bringing this happiness and joy into your life, being completely fulfilled and being uh, full of love in your life. And the way in which they're saying that you can do it is by being bringing your own romance into your life. Now, this sounds like a cheesy, corny message. It's talking about going with the seasons of life. There is a time when you need to be actively searching for love. And there's a time when you need to be actively searching for you. And this is the time in which you are supposed to be actively searching for you. Who are you? And what is it that makes you happy? What is it that brings you joy in your life? Perhaps taking some piano lessons or playing your piano. Perhaps drawing or writing or painting doing something creative perhaps doing some craft work would be would make you happy doing something that brings you back home that slows the pace of your life and keeps you in a space that's quite close to you and an intimate space to yourself so this card here is talking about actually finding love or drawing love to you by falling in love with yourself first and falling in love with life first and to do this but in a way that is is very intimate. It's doing this in a way that brings you quite uh, in touch with your with your rhythm, your own rhythm, and develops your own rhythm with uh, along with you. So it's almost detaching yourself from day to day life and going in inward, and taking yourself out of the world for a while and just doing things that are very homely, domesticated uh, stuff, or um, embarking upon hobbies that are very fulfilling and very rich in terms of the joy and the pleasure that it gives you. It also talks here about the simple things in life, being able to enjoy the simple things in life and finding real warmth and, and romance and, and a real amount of happiness through the very simple things in life, whether you're sitting at a fire and looking at that burning 
whether you have a candle lit in your room and you are looking at the, the flame of that and this brings you joy, it brings you in touch with the rest of the fire energy in this world and and it warms you and it lightens your heart. And so it's about, once again, it's about bringing that romance into your life. It's about actually giving yourself what you would expect from your partner or giving or living the life that you would live right now that you would that you dream of living with that potential partner. The other meaning of this card is being able to create the life that you require for yourself without the love that you're waiting for or that you expect to have in your life or that you hope to have in your life. It's about giving yourself the gift, giving yourself the gift of life, giving yourself the gift of love, giving yourself that which you are hoping to have with the, with another. And it's about doing so in a manner that's intended or um, conscious. So instead of wandering through uh, life, doing things in a way that's just, well, you know, you're kind of hoping that somebody's going to come along and bring you this love and this happiness, but you're not really sure. And you, you're still kind of waiting for that to happen. Uh, instead, what it's saying here is just be conscious about the way in which you go about your life you know whether it means buying yourself flowers or bringing yourself gifts or bringing yourself doing something that brings you joy what would you do if you if you were in this partnership you know perhaps you've been wanting to set up a garden patch where you grow your own vegetables but you've been thinking I'll wait until I have a partner before I can do that or I'll wait until I have my house before I can do that well it's saying here give yourself the gift of that already give yourself the gift of that love that you're wishing to have because the love that you're wishing to have is not just a love that you want to share with someone or not just a heartwarming closeness and intimacy that you want to share with someone it's also a lifestyle and so what it's saying here is that Look at this lifestyle that you require or that you expect to share with the one that you love and give it to yourself as a gift today already. Okay, and this is what's going to help you draw the love into your life. So going back into yourself, having an intimate relationship with yourself, and you can take that in whichever way you like, and and being able to, to um, bring yourself out into the world with this, this is actually what's going to help you to draw that love because with that comes this, a real deep sense of fulfillment and satisfaction and peace. When you've done what it is that you you feel that you need to give for to yourself first, then you will draw this love into your life. Okay, so that is the message here. But um, for those of you who've chosen this deck here. So thank you all for coming by and I'm wishing you all a very good time in drawing this love into your life. And do let me know uh, when you have your love in your life and how it's going. And um, yes, I'm wishing you all very well and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.